Hi everyone! Welcome to Sanders Sensations. I'm going to be doing, I'm hoping, some angel wings. I'm not sure. <laughs> Haven't done one yet, so this is going to be a trial run to see if it works. I've got 16 by 20 canvas in front of me with the black acrylic mixed 50% black acrylic and my 50-50 water glue mixture. Mix those together to make my base. I'm going to be giving it a quick torch to get the bubbles out because I did just mix this paint. And for anybody new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It would be very much appreciated. And of course, all of you that keep coming back to watch, you're absolutely wonderful and I thank you so much for doing so. Okay, Black's got the bubbles out. Now I can see a little bit of a rippling effect happening. I didn't realize that black that was in my bottle I mixed this in had a little bit of silicone in it. So that could add to my painting. Hopefully for the better. I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, this is a test run. We'll see what happens. Okay, got my black down. I want to do some chain pull for my wings. So I'll pull two chains out. They're just regular chains you get from the hardware store. And what color do I want to do my wings? I'm going to be doing my wings with a burgundy and silver maybe. I want it to be unique. I don't want it to just be white or silver. Yeah, I think I'm going to do silver and a little bit of burgundy. Yeah, that's my idea. Okay. So, silver. My wings, I'm going to go probably about here. Now it's going to get a lot larger because I'm going to be pulling it and blowing it probably with my little battery operated air compressor and will probably be used. Okay, is that enough silver? Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and then the burgundy Actually, I have it mixed here. It's pouring a little bit. I just made this burgundy color. It's actually a bright red and black mixture. Let's see how that turns out. Maybe a little bit there. slowly pouring it out because I don't want to pour a whole bunch. There we go. I hope everybody's enjoying their weekend and having some fabulous fun paint pours because I know everybody that's watching is at home doing their own pour painting, right? That's what I hope for anyways. Okay, now how do I want to do this? I'm going to put this, I think, on the inside of my color. And then I'm going to pull this way. I'll wipe the chain off quickly and I'm going to use the same chain to do the next one. Lay it down here. Okay, and let's pull it through this way. I think I might need a bit more white, or silver I should say. Okay, let's soak this chain in some water. Yep, I'm definitely going to add some more silver.
Okay, that's pretty generous with the silver. Let's pull it through again. Okay. I'm going to pull a little bit slower this time. Beautiful. Okay. Much happier with that effect. Now let's hope we have the same success on the other side. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay. I am happy with that. Could you tell I was holding my breath as I did that, you guys? <laughs> I was. I was like, oh, I hope it works. Okay. So that's a good start. Now, let's give it a little bit of blow up with my air compressor, I think. I want to see how much wispiness I can get without wrecking it. I just realized that all my glasses over my eyes, that might help me a little bit. Okay, let's some wispy happening here. If anybody has not yet purchased yourself one of these little battery operated air compressors, I highly recommend it. It's way better than using a straw and you can do so much more of smaller details. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a little torch and see what's happening with the, whoops, knock that over, that wouldn't have been good. I'll give it a little torch, yeah I should. See if it's, you can see cells happening, so that always changes the effect of your painting, whatever you have for cells. Okay, let's sit, let's let that sit for a little bit here. Now I want to do some white. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a couple of white dots right down the center here. Call me crazy. And I'm also going to do some silver. What do you think? Should we do some burgundy too? Why not?
<clears throat> that might be a little bit more burgundy than I wanted, but that's okay. I just dripped right there. I'm just going to blow it a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, now, I'm going to take my little swipe plastic, a little piece of plastic. I'm just going to swipe it down the center. Add a little bit more color up here. Now let's blow this as well. Okay, now I definitely feel like I need more white, for sure, and I think I'm going to do it right here. Luckily, I got lots of chain. This one is huge because I have two attached. I'm just going to untouch it. Okay. Let's go. This side again. Okay, I'm just going to pull it. Again, do the same thing here. Okay. Paper towel is my best friend. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more round of that. Yep, yeah, I'm going to. It's all about layering colors and changing patterns. And Trial and error, that's what it's all about. Okay, let's start here. Okay, go on again. Okay, let's do this side. Come back here. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, it's going to go in the cup to soak. Am I getting my desired effect? Not really. Not what I was envisioning. A little bit, but not, not entirely. I'm just going to give it a quick torch. Again, it's going to change the whole development of this painting, depending on what the cells are doing. Kicking myself a little bit that I had silicone in my black. That wasn't really my plan, but that's okay. Silver. I'm going to put some silver down here and here. I think I'm going to take my comb and try and do a design with my comb with that silver. See if I can blow it out a little bit too. Just want to get that puddle moved over a bit. Hmm, you know what? It looks like a heart, not wings like I wanted. Can this be fixed? I think it can. So we're going to be doing dots all the way down of white on this side. Take another chain. And I'm going to pull it through again. Okay. I'm okay with that. Oops. Just knocked one of my camera tripods. That'll probably be a shaky moment on the video. Okay, let's pull another bunch of white through on this side. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit of white here, a little bit here. Take my comb.
Well, that is definitely not the angel wings I was envisioning. It's more like a heart winged effect. <laughs> huh. I'm not sure if I'm sold on this one. Let's give it a torch. It's definitely interesting. I'm just going to add another little bit of white here, here, and here because there's not enough white. It's too blended. Muddy kind of. So I'm just going to add some white in here. There we go. I think I'm going to call this a whimsical heart. <laughs> I think that's what it is. But I am going to do one or two little slides of paint. I got a little bit of purple there. I want to just blend that. So I'm going to do some silver here and here. And a little bit here and a little bit here. Let's see if I can do something with that. Let's bring it down to the bottom here. Swipe it up a little bit. Just adding a little bit of a detail to the painting. Sometimes a little effect goes a long way. This one needs a little bit more silver, I think, right here. Okay, I'm going to give that a torch. Okay. I am going to call this one definitely Mystical Heart not the angel wings I was going for but it is still very pretty very unique lots of cells I like the silver I like the burgundy yeah in general I really like this I think it's gonna dry really nice with some fancy little black and white cells silver cells okay fingers crossed this dries really nice thanks everyone for watching I hope you enjoyed and again please hit the subscribe button because as you can see, you never know what I'm going to paint. Alright, thanks for joining me. Bye for now.